Hello people, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines and part 49 of Ilos, our modded American Phoenix inspired build. Hope you're having a wonderful day everyone. Uh, welcome back. Uh, thank you for all the support across the live stream uh, where we added in uh, some really fun awkward space uh, over here. Uh, including some of my favourite little ranch houses from King Leno. Love these. <laughs> these are so much fun. Thank you for all the support and indeed... Uh, the support for the new Alien Coven as well, of course, which is here. <laughs> it doesn't really. I can't. I can't come over here without laughing. There's just. There's so much going on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So thank you for all support on the live streams. Anyway, I'm glad you guys do enjoy them. However, today's episode we are heading back over to the airport, which we haven't been there for a very, very long time. Uh, to work on the cargo airspace today. So, currently, Navaria's kind of cargo import and export function um, is very delicate. <laughs> it's, um, it's very sensitive as to how uh, Ilos wants to kind of import its goods. It's very temperamental. So, we're going to build a cargo airport in hope to improve it today. We're going to see what happens with it. But a nice big space uh, to fill and a big extension onto Sky Harbor as well. I'm going to do some new things with sub-buildings, some detailing, and indeed uh, some kind of themed export as part of the build as well, which should be quite fun. Uh, and then there's a lot of desert grass and sort of overgrowth to bring back uh, into this side of the city. And um, to hopefully kind of round out this corner um, of Ilos today, I don't really want to come back here again. So, real big project in store today. Let's build a major cargo airport in City Skyline, shall we? So the first thing I'd like to do here today, uh, these are huge, huge builds, so we would definitely want to make sure that we allow uh, the runways and the actual cargo airport building itself to kind of uh, take a little bit of centre stage if we like. So we're going to bring out one of our big uh, six lane American roads, happy with this. Uh, we will need to kind of just create a little mini sort of T-junction frame here just while we kind of get set up with buildings and one-way systems and whatnot. So let's just bring out that T-junction. Uh, then I would like a little one-way road, if at all possible. Uh, we are playing with some parking vibes, so why don't we go for uh, 10 units over this way. Why not? Let's go for that. Okay, so we'll have that there. Let's bring it down this way as well. Let's go find 10 units over this side. That'd be that one. Tremendous. So we'll use that as the frame to hold the actual cargo airport itself. Let's go ahead and grab the main building. Uh, so we want the cargo airport terminal. So, guessing there would be a good shout. It kind of slightly offsets it as well. I think I'm going to be happy with that. So, let's remove that one there. And then we know we can tether directly onto that space just like that, which should be quite nice, I think. Okay. Might even just want to knock it back just a tiny bit. So, we'll grab, move it, and then hold um, Alt while we drag it so we stay within uh, the snapped frames. And can we say no to that centralization there? I don't think we can, can we? So, let's do that instead. Have that there. Uh, we want to bring you up as well and then bring them back down so it completes the loop. Tremendous. So, there's been some wonderful uh, discoveries of the world of sub buildings um, since we've kind of looked at, at a cargo airport before. So, I'm going to bring up the filter here and I want to search up for sub buildings and then I'm just going to search in uh, cargo. Now, there's a couple of assets I'm looking for here. So, we can break down this one, which is this actual uh, cargo airport building itself. Um, there's some really nice opportunities to kind of just extend the cargo airport here, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to place down two of these sub-buildings and then align them with one another until we agree with something like that. I don't think I hate that. I think that's pretty cool. So we can get on board with that. However, what I would like to do is also introduce um, a little bit of cargo airport stuff from uh, the industry stuff when we got the huge cargo airport hub. Um, and this kind of merges uh, really nicely into the old... Well, the, I guess it's the new building, isn't it? So I really just want to sort of finagle this one onto about there, if at all possible. So it has the air control tower on it, and it kind of just merges and fuses seamlessly um, into the original cargo hub. So of course, if you're playing with sub-buildings, um, they are essentially just giant props, but they are very cool for just expanding a building like that, right? Really kind of cool aesthetic there. Now it's a lot longer. It's got a little pop in height in there as well. So sub building is definitely worth sort of considering uh, into a build. Uh, let's come ahead now into our cargo airport stuff uh, because we are going to want to place down 
and some aircraft stands, more specifically the cargo aircraft ones. So let's place these boys in here. Uh, we will try and get them all uh, equidistant so we have a sensible aesthetic come the end. That's okay to me. We'll do a few more as well. There's a lot of prop details we've done here as well uh, today. So let's bring off this runway now. Uh, and we definitely want to stop to a road guideline when we bring this down. Uh, let's go for... Let's actually knock this back a little bit first of all. Then we should just be able to connect in. We'll worry exactly where kind of the rest of the airport is going to go in a second. For right now, I just want to make sure we've got that uh, cargo airport road drawn in. That isn't encroaching upon the sub-building. No, we should be okay there. Uh, so let's just keep that going for the duration of the build. We'll find out exactly what's going to happen with it as the build develops over that side. And then we can place in a few more cargo uh, airport stands here as well. So from previous testings of kind of ILOS's cargo functionality, there's not that many that kind of come through here. So it might end up being a kind of a quiet airport, but to be fair, it's kind of an end of life stage for ILOS now. The city is starting to kind of collapse a little bit under its own weight. Just an end of life symptom. It's okay. There's not a vast amount we can do about it. So let's have to bear with it. Cool. So let's bring these roads up now again as well. I think I'm going to stick with the concrete median. Uh, for the time being, just while we get our frames established and set the frontage up here. But that's not going to be too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and get the taxiway sort of linked around here. I guess we would like some aircraft stands over this side as well, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that industrial road again. And possibly there. It's going to be a sensible space. And then with the wonderful world of cargo aircraft stand. Yes, I think we will just connect in here. So let's do one, two, and hopefully three. And then for a pretty rough connection right now, we're going to need to do a fair amount of kind of runway and taxiway detail in today as well. Because we have a lot of very dead space um, between the cargo airport, which is fine. I do need to get out of the habit of realizing or just, just kind of accepting that there is dead space within uh, airport builds, especially sort of major airfields like this, like the Sky Harbor. Uh, so we can also add another little connection in the taxiway system uh, across here. And of course, one thing that we always know about our airport taxiways is a little bit of node controller. Um, we also want to remove that node there as well. Let's get rid of that one. Uh, yeah, I just want to do a little bit of uh, stretching here. A little bit of sort of offset, apart from uh, our green friend there. Uh, with the taxiways, just gives them a little bit sort of more bulk to them. And we use the kind of the same process throughout. Uh, the entire airfield here when we came to build the uh, passenger airport, which was ages ago now, wasn't it? This was a long time ago we did the Sky Harbour. It's nice to finally come finish it. <laughs> it's been a long time. It has been a long time. Cool. So we've at least got kind of the main building set up now and the functionality of cargo uh, import and export here. Uh, now let's turn our attention to the front, uh, where we'd like to bring in a little bit of a theme into the airport. So speaking about a theme for... At the airport here today. Uh, I'm going to come in to find it and search for uh, a suspension bridge and I'm looking for uh, one of these particular cables right here. So these are just the suspension frames that sit on the bridges whenever you draw in a road. Uh, there's nothing overly special about them, okay, but I'd like to use them to kind of purpose them into something a little bit cooler, I think. So I'm going to sink them down into the earth by holding page down, of course, okay, and I just want to make sure that we've got enough clearance here. That should be okay. So now it just kind of looks like an archway, right? It's really cool. So going to public transport. We're then going to use uh, a monorail line. So I'm just going to go for regular monorail tracks. I would also like to come off of all the snappings here as well. Okay, and then we're going to come up here. And we just want to bring it up so we're crossing over that pillar there. Something like that. That's good enough for me. Uh, I want to remove the pillars off of the um, monorail just by grabbing them like so. Same thing over here again as well. There we go. And then I just want to grab this and then drop it back in over here. And then hopefully we can just do uh, the same thing with the monorail line again. Okay. So you might be thinking, Egg, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> so this is, I'm going to use this. Um, as a kind of aesthetic feature of the fact that ILOS's cargo airport 
um, exports and imports, or mainly exports, um, a vast amount of oil product. So we're going to have lots of oil storage here. Um, this then mock oil pipeline that is made up of monorail track and archways, which will look very industrial and really cool, will then head directly back to um, the refinery, or refiner, I think we need to actually rename this, don't we? Let me do that now while we're here. Uh, yeah, so we want a uh, refiner. This is the one we want. Okay, so we have this here. So we're going to get it in. And then we should have a functioning, well, not a functioning, but a aesthetically cool kind of oil pipeline that runs directly from the refinery to the airport, where obviously things can then be kind of exported and worked with. So it should be really cool. Let's go ahead and time lapse the process up and then we'll see what we think of it once we're back. Okay guys, so ignoring the current horde of oil trucks, of course, they're all just bombing it over here to try and fill this as fast as they can. We do now have a mock oil pipeline installed using those suspension bridges and the monorail line as cable. Now there's something that looks tremendously cool here. Now at night time, of course, all the monorail and those suspension arches are going to light up, which is going to illuminate the oil pipeline that flows from the refinery into the cargo airport, which is going to be so cool. <laughs> I haven't really considered uh, the nighttime aesthetic there of the oil pipeline being very brightly lit. But I'm happy with it. I really, really like the way that that looks. So, well, let's carry on developing it. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves. Oh yeah, also as well, we can kind of see like it's a proper industrial looking kind of like support arch, isn't it? Where you have the um, sort of, what's it called? Little like airport security lights, I guess. What the little flashing red lights? I'm not sure the technical term, but you kind of know what I'm talking about. Yes, very cool. Very happy with that. So what I would like to happen now is to have this pipeline kind of continually flow between these large oil uh, kind of container storage units. So I definitely want to make sure that we respect that as it comes in. Again, we'll continue to place in uh, that oil pipeline. As it's needed, do we want a curve here? As it probably should. Just be a one curve instead, won't it? Yeah, and then it will run parallel that way. Okay, so that's great. Uh, let's come ahead and grab uh, another oil storage thing here. Okay, now I want to see if we can adjust. How far is it until you lose your connection? You'll become disconnected there. Okay, so why don't we see if we can align that fence with the pillar. That seems like a happy medium. It's still going to be connected. It's going to receive its stuff. And then again, how far until you become disconnected? About there. So you can kind of see what I'm trying to do here, right? I really want to frame that oil pipeline with oil storage, so to speak. There we go. 
Cool. So that gives us two connected uh, oil crude tank farms. I think we can now just maybe grab uh, the both of them and then give them a little uh, copy and paste there if we dare. And once both are in, we can align the fence in so we know that assets are perfectly in line. And then we can keep the pipeline uh, running through the middle of them. Although you are not connected. Are you sure? You must be just on your threshold. There you go. Now you are. Yes. So we can hopefully appreciate the aesthetic, everyone, okay? Ignore the traffic, obviously. That will go eventually. But, yes. Kind of a mass oil storage. A big shout out as well to Gorgonzola during our live stream. Um, he very much suggested, you know, well, what is Ilos's biggest export? And I think that would be oil uh, due to the major refinery that we have here. And, uh, yeah, I think it's just a really cool idea to have that as the kind of aesthetic feature of the main cargo airport is that there is a lot of oil that's pumped directly to the airport for uh, either, I guess, either what wouldn't be refined here, would it? it would be refined. Maybe once it's refined, it's pumped out here and then, um, you know, shipped across the, uh, the World of City skylines, maybe. Okay. But I'm enjoying it. I'm happy with it. Wonderful. Tremendous. So before we keep that going, um, we do have a train line here to take note of. So let's bring this in now as well. So I need to do... Yeah, there's a little bit of train junk happening here, isn't there? Uh, we're going to have to upgrade this, I think, to the vanilla one. Just because the cargo airport train station doesn't seem to work all that well with uh, network multi tools unlock segments feature it just doesn't really like it so we'll stick with the vanilla tracks let's bring it up and out here we're going to create our junction so at the minute kind of the road frames are very rigid and square and blocky um, but as we come in with node controller during our detail and time that's when we start stretching um, everyone out we're going to get much more interesting junctions like this especially once they're surrounded by other sub buildings and detail and whatnot so we should have quite a nice time uh okay this is wonderful let's go ahead now and get that cargo train station in uh, from the airport stuff uh, if indeed we can find it there we go so let's have that one there and again i'd just like to check uh, how far we can kind of knock you off the road before you start to whinge it's about there is it there, it would seem. Okay, well, we'll bring out a road. Because I'd like the cargo train station to sit against this road here. Yes, that's tremendous. Let's give it a little uh, two-unit one-way flow system. We're going to come up by five units, 250. And then we'll come back down by five units and 250. Tremendous, wonderful. Yes, and then we can keep our... Uh, new train lines here going uh, as well. Again, today's build is very much going to be influenced just by what mood Ilos is in. <laughs> Whether or not it wants to import things, we will, uh, of course, find out together, hopefully. Anyway, it's not too bad. We've now factored in the train line uh, coming through the area here. Awesome. So we want a lot of service painter here, of course. Um, I do kind of want to play with mixed concrete and sand vibes today across different areas of the airport. So we'll go ahead and get a ton of concrete around where we have uh, all our uh, oil storage. Of course, this detail has been hard here as well. And I'll tell you what, why we're here, and for once, Ilos has industry demand, which is very, very rare. Um, I want to do a little bit of edge generic industry fusing. I saw an asset in Noob Yoke in the Noob's Guide that I, I wanted to fuse together with Move It. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Uh, it's this one here, this little 4x4 factory. Um, I kind of want to include this as a maybe, you know, it was kind of a old factory space here before the cargo airport was kind of introduced to this space. But kind of the older building is still very much here. And this one here, this big 4x4 generic industry factory asset, uh, serves that vibe perfectly. So I very much want to try and respect it if we can. So we'll drop it in there. Um, looks like we might just want to reset this one. So we get the red. That's brown. Can we get red please? There we go. But I think it's a very fusible asset because of the glass corners that it has on it. So I'm happy to have like an older factory building in here as well. It's also going to satisfy a little bit of generic energy demand. Which of course is always welcome isn't it? Especially if Ilos is crippling goods issues. Wonderful, but here comes the uh, vast amount of 
That's interesting, isn't it? I put down all this oil stuff and all of it is being imported. The game does not want to accredit any of Ilos's oil to <laughs> the actual enormous oil field that it has over here, which I guess is currently out of stock because it's missing petroleum. You all right? Are we not making enough petroleum? Mm, you should be. You've got a lot of oil. And a lot of workers. You should be all right. You guys okay over here as well? Yeah, it's just a big happy oil circle. Everyone's just importing and exporting. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You all right? What's going on? <laughs> it's the oil, isn't it? Yes. I mean... You guys are aware you have an oil refinery here, right? <laughs> Why on earth are you importing it all? Okay, so there's a slight rush of importing oil into the city right now. It would be both splendid and tremendous. You guys do have a rail connection here, don't you? Yes, you do. Um, Yeah, it'd be great if they'd start bringing that into this cargo hub over here. There's a lot of oil trucks coming in. What the hell's going on? What the hell? <laughs> Why is there so much oil being imported? Is this because I've just placed down four of these? They're all absolutely dying to fill them up. They are, aren't they? Yeah, it'll pass. There's just a lot of oil <laughs> coming into Ilos. Goodness gracious me. Anyway, ignoring the swarms of oil imports, <laughs> we'll just sort of work around them here until the game stabilizes a little bit. And um, of course, with any kind of cargo or major kind of infrastructure build, um, warehouses are always a keen and very much welcome aesthetic. So let's have a couple of warehouses here. This is going to be great. Cool. Um, I would like to kind of back them onto each other. So we have some kind of distribution center or processing facility vibes out this way. Uh, that would be tremendous. Let's go ahead and give you guys a little one-way road. Uh, I think a little one unit industrial number will actually perform quite nicely here. Uh, so let's snap off here. And then we'll bring this one down. I don't want to connect into that road just yet. Or at all, I think. Because we'll keep this as a separate little area. Might do a little scrapyard out here. And um, there's plenty of little sort of cargo airport nuances that we can do. Um, if you are kind of looking to build a cargo airport... No better inspiration than Google Earth. Um, you will see some pretty crazy things looking at cargo airports across the world. They are very distinct bits of infrastructure, I think. Uh, okay, so we want to use the round version here. Um, so we get the gaps where the junctions are, of course. So we'll do that as well. And then with these guys, I think we're just going to get them to store commercial zone goods. I think we'll just go for that. We'll see how they perform with that. Um, there's already a ton of warehouses storing oil products over in the refinery. So, uh, this is not good. <laughs> are you guys alright? What are you doing? Needs to chill out. Someone's dying of noise pollution because of the amount of oil coming through here. Why do you have noise pollution? What's up with you? Where's the noise pollution coming from here? No. Yes. <laughs> that massive post storage facility right next door to you. I'll sort you out in a second. Hold on. Alright, okay. I'm just going to let the game play, guys. I need to let all this stuff fill up so all the oil input goes away. And yes, we'll sort of come back once it's calmed down. And we can carry on building together. Okay, everyone. So we seem to have a functioning import and export function uh, for ILOs. Uh, so we've got trains coming and going here. Yeah, these guys are heading out into the city. Uh, and then there's also a few cargo planes knocking about now as well. Um, exporting oil to and from... Uh, the various stands that are over here, which is just fantastic. Yes, please, everyone. Wonderful news. It's always nice to see a functioning airport and see skylines. Always makes me happy. Tremendous, but there we go. It is working, which is great. And I've also knocked the large warehouses back off of the main road just because they were not playing well with the traffic. <laughs> There's just a lot of people going through now. Uh, and finally, um, all the oil importing finally seems to have just chilled out a little bit. <laughs> there was a lot going on. Uh, so it's all fine and happy now, and then we've also got uh, our pipeline kind of finished off, and it just sort of peters off into, or tapers off I guess, into a couple of little uh, refinery sections, which is always wonderful. Cool. Well, things are going well. It's alright. It's not coming on too bad so far. We're definitely developing 
that kind of big cargo frontage, aren't we? Got some nice sort of obvious vibes developing there. I'd like to bring a little bit of car parking uh, as maybe to fill sort of this space here uh, and then sort of round off into this area. So let's come ahead and do that. Let's grab ourselves a large car park. Let's go for 58 meter, poorly maintained. Is that going to be acceptable? Let's hope so. Let's bring it up to this way here. How can we do 20? Is that going to be all right? Looks like it will be. Let's grab those nodes. Uh, we can move it, and then I just want to position this about here, if at all possible. Uh, and then can we do the same uh, up there as well? I think we can. That's going to be good enough. Uh, and then hopefully with a road guideline snap. Goodness gracious, that's a lot of them, isn't it? Let's go for that one there. Let's do 10 units. Cool. And then let's use the poorly maintained uh, service road just to feed all these together. Should give us a pretty nice kind of car parking palette here. I guess we'll see how it looks. Okay, uh, and we need to be using uh, the round one here, don't we? We're using the wrong type of reservation. Let's make sure we change it. Cool. So we use this as our car parking configuration. And that should be job pretty much well done, I think, in terms of the car parking. So we'll just use some simple 58 meter roads as our car parking configuration, which I'm pretty happy with. And now we've got kind of these uh, taxiways configured around the cargo airport. We should be able to see eventually once one comes in, of course, uh, is kind of a, ta a cargo plane uh, taxiing behind the Isle of Sky Harbour sign, uh, which should give us a really cool airport aesthetic. Should really kind of expand the whole airport vibes, hopefully. Uh, but cargo planes uh, are indeed... A pretty rare breed, it would seem, uh, for Ilos's uh, preference on import and export. It seems to prefer rail almost the vast majority of the time. But maybe we just need to let the AI kick in a little bit and it will eventually start uh, using what we have over here. Yes, there we go. Lots of export stuff coming out of the airport now, which is great to see. This is what we like. Wonderful news. Okay, everyone, well, things are developing well. There is uh, indeed planes uh, coming and going from the cargo bit, which is always nice to see. And there is a small amount of export coming out of the train station uh, as well. So let's return over to these little blocks here. I'd like to discuss what's going to go in them before we start to head towards something of a main detail in time maps today. So I think I'm feeling this big chunky boy um, on the corner of the road here. It's going to really introduce us to kind of the industrial vibes that are happening over in this side of the city. So let's do a touch of poorly maintained. I'm going to bring this straight out and use it to essentially kind of wrap uh, the building up, which will give it connections on uh, all kind of four corners. We don't need to do any building spawn point work now. Uh, let's change this to a bend, and then we're going to square the offset off. There we go, and then we can get some uh, nice happy surface paint to work uh, through here as well. I think I'm going to go for a little bit of gravel. So I think over this side of the tracks, I would like everything to be a little bit more sandy, a little bit more grassy and overgrown and whatnot. Tremendous. So it's just service paint to tidy up our edges. And then we'll get some uh, car parking in here as well. There we go. We can see that uh, one of the trucks is coming to hopefully drop things off now. Or you go into the warehouse yard. Yes, you are. Never mind then. They will come around here eventually, hope so. Uh, I think a little bit of Ilo's dry belt would also be welcome now uh, within this space. Let's increase that intensity a little bit and... Get that going in there, and then let's kind of piece together like a little spice sample here now. Uh, so I'd like in probably a fire station here, I imagine, just because there's so much kind of crude oil. I imagine that fire safety would be um, top priority, and I think just the classic base game fire station is going to be the vibe. I think that the, what's it called, the high capacity one. It's Probably a little bit too clean and modern for the vibe I want around the cargo airport, I think. It does look quite nice, though. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just too clean. It's too clean. Yeah. Oh, no. Don't place another one. Wait, then. There we go. Cool. So, let's drag this over to the corner. And then we'll have this as, like, a sort of side building for the ore refinery there. And then I do believe that perhaps a little bit of possible chain link fencing, I think, will do as a job uh, on a linear fence fill next to the train line here. Uh, just for hammering home uh, some further Phoenix vibes. 
half of which I think we can get involved with if we go this way. Go. Let's go ahead and get a little uh, sort of curvy angle in there as well if we can. And then set that run uh, down on the duration. Okay, and then once we're in, we should have a really kind of cool aesthetic just looking across this car park into that mass oil storage where we can see the elevated pipeline sort of coming through here now as well. Back to the refinery towers over there. Tremendous. It'll look really nice once we get a train coming back through here, I hope. We hope at least anyway, don't we? Uh, I think as well, uh, some further oil um, area assets would work really nicely um, in and around here, like the storage cavern. There's also the kind of classic storage here as well we could use. There's a couple of different sort of themes and ideas we could potentially take this area in. Uh, let's move this over a little bit so we're not clipping with the rail line. That's the most important thing there. There's a little bit more oil storage. It might send it a little bit more nuts, but... It's okay. And then lots of decals and props behind it. Again, will help us tie everything together. But we can now just start to see my, you know, little bit of positioning of assets around our key networks, like the rail line here. And a touch of appropriately themed detailing. We can really start to create a vibe, can't we? Very easily done. But I'm happy with it. I think I'm enjoying it. Cool. So, we still have... Um, Basically, for the first time ever, no residential demand <laughs> in the Nilos. It's nearly unheard of. Um, so yes, I have also knocked these ones back as well um, off camera. So I think what I would like to do again is to just bring out a few little sort of one unit industrial road frames here. No particular uh, rhyme or reason to them for the time being. And then just because we've got that generic industry demand, um, I'd love to come into generic industry and just start finding um, perhaps a couple of choice favorite assets that would um, perhaps piece well together. Maybe we can get some of these in here and then we'll grab move it and just align them um, again against our key networks. I can see now where this one perhaps wants to break away a little bit and why don't we see if we can line up the two corners of the building here. Okay, I'm going to be happy with that. Let's then piece that one uh, back together on a connection where it will be registered. And then perhaps a little bit of service painter in there as well. And some props come the detail and time lots of course. Uh, what else would go nicely uh, within this one? Maybe one of those little plaster mold sheds would be quite cute here as well. And then before we know it, when we just start playing like this, we'll just end up piecing together these really kind of cute, um, personable, customizable and fusible industrial yards just by playing with generic industry lights. So much better than zoning it. Goodness gracious me. You know, what a difference two little mods just find it and move it make to generic industry. You can make so many more cool patterns out of them like this. And of course it's all going to be satisfying demand as well. You can definitely see where we've just arranged the two assets there where perhaps it wants to have like a little delivery yard at the back there. Where we've got some entrance into the backs of the buildings and some trucks and props and whatnot out here. I think that's going to be quite tasteful isn't it? Let's see what else we've got to play with. Why don't we go for... One of these 4x4 big factories. What are these going to be looking like? Why don't we go for two of these next to each other? I'm happy for the silos on them to be part of the area because it's kind of playing into our oil theme. So I think I'd enjoy that. We can maybe have two of those and let's go ahead and grab one of these little roads again. And then we'll bring that out. Let's see what we can have here. Let's come off the grid snap really that one that we want there. Let's go ahead and grab a smaller asset this time. Maybe just one of these. Yeah, but I want it on that orientation. And then we'll see if we can have this one sort of chill out here, but still be part of this kind of general space and design. Also got some little props and dirty decals in here as well by using generic industry like that. And then again, I hope we can just create a little prop space now out of the back where we can drop in lots of decals and props again to just help bring these little industrial centers to life so to speak so i think i'm happy to have some generic industry included within kind of the overall you know airport that cargo airport build i think it's going to be appropriate isn't it very nice uh, the imports do seem to have calmed down uh, a little bit now uh, well significantly actually everyone seems to have Finally chilled out. <laughs> there was a lot of stuff 
uh, being brought in there. See all these trucks leaving now as well, all coming out of the airport, which is great news. Some more heading back in here as well, which is great. But yes, it's a cute little facility, isn't it? It's kind of slowly, uh, but surely piecing together. Fantastic. I uh, will definitely have some scrap yards in here as well, but we'll save those for the detail and time lapse. Uh, we've done a scrap yard many times before. You guys do not need to see me do another one. So we'll bring them in during the time lapse. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in a little bit of industrial road here. Because I think what I'd like to formulate in this space here, particularly off of this road, is going to be some of Avanya's garbage processing, just because it's kind of the vibe that I want here. So, yeah, it's like a lot of this stuff that I want exposed. And then I believe there's one with a digger as well. Is it this one? Yes, there we go. These are the ones that we like. And again, even with our service assets, we can piece them together, especially with the Vanya's recycling collection. This is like one of the best sort of asset collections on the workshop. Okay, so how far again until we become disconnected? So we can actually have them uh, there, can't we? And again, just piecing them together like that, it gives us kind of a more sort of broader complex and facility, doesn't it? So I'm happy to have those in there as well. A little bit of surface painter can be brought in there too now. Uh, we can do some more generic industry fusing over here if we like. Um, something that can be quite fun with generic industry. Uh, when you do zone it, you do get different prop configurations, kind of car parking spawnings. So just allowing a little bit to zone and then using move it to piece those together, again, it can just give you a little variation in kind of design, um, which I think is always appreciated when you're looking for sort of new things to introduce and bring into the city. Uh, let's bring this road down as well. We will maintain that connection. Big shout out again to Brassac for linking me the American trucks. They have made a tremendous difference to, uh, to Ilos, especially in the industrial areas. Much better, aren't they? Amazing. Oh, there we go. There is a uh, thing that's coming out here. Print shop. You are taking stuff to the uh, boutique mall, which is all the way over here. So that's not all the way. It's actually quite close. But good. At least the generic industry is now functioning. And then we've also got some garbage processing in here now as well. But the front of the airport is kind of slowly, slowly piecing together here, isn't it? It's a, it's a slow burner, but it's, uh, it's, it's on its way, I think. It's definitely not too bad. Uh, so we did originally have a, a mail sorting facility out here, and I'd be quite keen to bring that back in. Um, so let's just do a little bit of forest brush here, because we're sort of overlapping with anarchy, and there's trees coming in the road. There we go. So let's just sort of snap this road off a little bit. So I think I'm happy to continue using the cargo road. I think it's pretty appropriate. Um, and then, yeah, I just had a couple of post sorting facilities. There was like one here. I guess it's okay. It's not the most horrendous thing. It probably wants a little, perhaps, industrial road sort of border bringing around it so it's got something on the back edge. It is a little bit abrupt. Something like that, and then maybe downgrade that front section into industrial road. And again, we should just kind of get an impression here now as we get these little sort of industrial processing units in the airfield themselves. You can See the cargo planes taxiing back and forth now as you're sort of driving into what is the customer facing front of Sky Harbor, of course. This is the passenger airport entrance down here. But you can just get a little glimpse into, you know, the industrialized Ilos as you either visit or uh, sort of arrive at the Sky Harbor, right? Pretty cool. It's an appropriate theme. Um, in terms of what's going to happen here, uh, we're just going to keep our airport chain link fencing going. Uh, from this area. I'm happy with this aesthetic. It does a job enough from the highway. Uh, and then maybe some trees uh, along this edge as well because we don't have a runway here. You might be wondering why haven't I added um, a fourth runway into Sky Harbor. It's because there's already too many runways in the city. And um, there's two more over here um, for this cargo airport at Area 51, of course. Then there's three for the passenger planes, and then there's another one over here. There's a non-functioning one out here for the boneyard. So if we add another one, it's just too many runways. <laughs> it's just far too many, so we need to be careful. It can hurt the aesthetic of the city. But otherwise, I'm happy with the mail sorting down there. It blends in really nicely with those concourses as well, doesn't it? Very happy with that. Tremendous. Otherwise, guys, uh, this does feel like a good point for a detailed time lapse. Um, so we got a bunch of props off of the workshop, 
um, things like pallet loaders and things for our planes. And don't forget, we do already have um, a fair bunch of workshop uh, uh, airplane appropriate sort of props within our collection anyway, because of course we've done an airport detail in session before. So we can get plenty of this back in as well. A lot of reuse of these props will be welcome. And things like the planes getting ready to be loaded and these little stairs and stuff. So, you know, <laughs> I forgot about that Jerry Governor. Oh, what an idiot. I forgot this was here. A massive. I don't even remember putting that in. That's hilarious. I yeah, did not expect to stumble across Jerry at that point. Um, but yes, either way, we have some preset airport detail. So we want to do that in spaces like here. So it looks like planes are being ready to be loaded. Um, and then piece together anything that we like here. So there we go. That's a perfect example. You see how this one right here, this little um, generic industry one. Let's make that historical. And um, we would never get that prop configuration by just placing it in. But when we zone it, we can get a really cute little sort of front yard there, right? That sits in really nicely. And that's the kind of creates us a little alleyway between the recycling and there. And we can just have that one in now. So it's a cool little way of using Derek Industry, a little bit more in, more interestingly. Um, you won't always get the assets that you like, of course, but you know you can wait for something nice like this to come in. It definitely works, at least. Uh, but yes, lots of airport detailing, uh, bringing some hangars as well, of course. Very similar vibes to what we've done um, throughout the passenger-facing uh, designs through Sky Harbor. Uh, similar for the cargo functionality as well, refueling stations and whatnot, lots of surface painter and car parking. Um, also need to bring in the dry desert brush that is sort of out in the desert. I need to bring this back over into these areas because they've all been forest brushed and it looks very naked um, at the minute. And there's still a little bit more detail to note here, can maybe get a little gas station or something. Uh, but it's just very much open desert around all the infrastructure. Um, as people come into uh, the Sky Harbour, of course, to get in and around the airport. But there's a lot of detailing to do and a lot of fun detailing also. Uh, very industrial, very fusy and very airporty. Very big space to fill. <laughs> it's going to be a long detailing time, that's everyone. So settle in, get comfy. Let's detail up um, Cargo Lows and then we'll be right back. <laughs>
so let's have a detailing review this was an absolute monster of a build <laughs> so if you have enjoyed the video at any point today uh, please consider leaving me a like and a comment below it really helps me out but either way our oil pipeline using the suspension kind of bridge supports and the monorail line is now fully complete with some palms alongside it and lots of desert grass beneath as it flows from airport to refinery of course so really happy with this, super nice. And then around the road network here, and um, you guys wouldn't have seen this, it was all off camera work, but I just wanted to rejig kind of how this flows and feeds into the highway and the airport. And it's kind of taken a little bit from what happens at Sky Harbor, um, but it works nicely and it's flowing, which is always nice. And then we've done some nice gentle IMT uh, along the bottom here with some of our network retaining walls. Looks like the bridge needs to be brought up by a little bit more. Uh, but I do love the aesthetic of a retaining wall, okay, something that we've done before. Um, way back over with our diamond interchange over here. Same process, you know, things that we've covered as to how to get the retaining walls in. Uh, it just adds a little bit more to an interchange, I think. 
uh, especially on a bridge like this. So really happy with that. Got the retaining wall in and it also comes in uh, down here as well. Again, you can see where we've got it in. So we get these really nice kind of bridges and overpasses. I'm, I'm really happy with this. But then we come into uh, the cargo airport itself where we're met with a little bit of fencing. That spills into uh, our car park over here. Uh, dropped in some of our muddy puddle props, almost a function as something of an oil spill is the vibe I'm trying to recreate here, perhaps dripped down from the line over the years or just spilt when it's generally been moved around. And then we've also got some uh, regular office thrown in here as a bit of admin. Um, something that we do see in Phoenix all the time is these little single trot lines that run through industrial areas. And there was kind of a perfect opportunity to use this space here, perhaps... The oil pipeline has a sort of mechanic where it can load uh, train cars beneath it maybe. Maybe that is a little bit of sort of engineering that's been developed for the area. And likewise those oil spill patterns and train cars uh, holding the oil uh, do just continue to sit here alongside the entrance into the main building. And it's so subtle but it makes a world of difference doesn't it? Just having those little train cars there. So really happy to have another kind of mini train yard uh, in Ilos. And then we arrive at the main building, of course. And one thing I love about the main building is because we've used the sub-building from the Industries Airport, we can actually see Cargo Airport written on the building. I absolutely love that. <laughs> That's such a, like a subtle little touch. Yeah, huge fan of it. But anyway, we will carry on going through. Oh yes, further up the front as well. Also, Network Multitude off a bit of fencing and then dropped in some uh, vanilla, uh, what's it called, uh, oil stuff. So we have some sort of extended silos out there around our storage. Uh, we've got some little tree patterns and a pathway out the front of the terminal. And then we merge back into the oil storage along the main road where we come in some more prop detail with some trucks that are perhaps ready to go. And then we've also got some little oil props which are a little bit kind of maybe too balamori for my liking. <laughs> I would have preferred just regular black oil drums but the vanilla props uh, say otherwise. So we've got some balamori oil uh, being produced here. Uh, and then, yes, this is where our train line splits off down in between the oil tanks. Uh, and then that, of course, goes back out uh, into the rest of Ilos's kind of uh, import and export function uh, for the cargo. As we move back into our finagled industrial yard, uh, which is now getting sort of usage. There's more detailing around here, lots of decals and cracks in the pavement. And continual fusing of uh, generic industry, again, to help satisfy that demand, but also add a little bit of of functioning industrial space into the build. I've also discovered a new sub building, this one right here. Um, so this is the campus van that actually maintains the campuses. Um, but you can place it as a building, which is really cool. So I've got so like a little fleet of these lined up, almost as though you know they're awaiting orders to go and pick something up or do something across the cargo facility that needs to be done. Then they are there. Alongside some trailers and a police station as well, either side of our large warehouses, which are now filling up. Uh, with uh, I think commercial zone goods we've got in these. And then we've just got another car park out here, uh, which spills back onto the main road, which of course goes into a little tree belt and the sound barrier on the highway, and it all kind of merges back into sort of the grander desert infrastructure as it passes back out. And there's something that I love um, about this area, and it's the view from the highways. It looks like a real proper cargo facility, doesn't it? Especially as we come... Sort of over this way and you get a little peek through that tree line there of sort of a reversing <laughs> reversing cargo plane. <laughs> it's not supposed to be reversing, but welcome to City Skylines, of course. Um, but yeah, they get that little view, a little bit of distance between uh, the road and the actual cargo airport itself. I'm really happy with. Uh, then we come into Vanya's uh, fused uh, uh, recycling stuff. This is garbage processing, isn't it? This always works really nicely in any sort of industrial themed build. I always enjoy these. Uh, and then this is the product of our zoned and then placed generic industry. We just get some much more organic prop patterns when we zone it and then finagle it. Um, it's nice. I'm pretty happy with it. It's a lot more organic than the props I would have placed myself. So I'm, I can't really complain about that. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to be happy with that. Got a nice little bit of generic industry in there as well. Uh, and then we come into another mini extended uh, kind of cargo train yard. Uh, that sits here. There we go. There's a oil train leaving now, which is so just on theme. <laughs> I love that. There goes the oil tanks, right? Heading back out of the airport now. 
maybe back toward the refinery where they're going to be refilled to start. It's very on point, this area. <laughs> it's very on theme. But either way, um, at the back of the cargo airport station, uh, we dropped in some containers, a little bit more uh, generic industry with an extension of some fencing to all kind of line up with a little mini train yard that just sits at the back here and then just kind of extends into the desert off of the very concrete heavy uh, cargo airport, of course. So happy with that. With these spaces to the right, I didn't want to put anything here. Um, I wanted that distance of just desert belt between cargo airport and the highway. So that's quite nice. Happy with that. Uh, this road also comes off of the cargo station uh, through into the cargo airfield itself, which has many, many props <laughs> placed around here. Um, there's different sort of cargo areas. We've got more boats, no, more um, trucks here. Uh, some stair lifts as well, as well as some sort of, you know, the things that pull them, whatever these are called. Uh, pull the planes around and then there's some crates ready to be loaded with forklifts. We've got some of our little tents in here. Uh, we then have another sub-building in, which is the arse end of the Natural Disasters Response Building. We used this one over in our boneyard um, when we came to... Oh, I've lost some props from here. Yes, it would appear that props have disappeared from this build. Also, some generic industry disappeared from it as well. Okay, but either way, ignoring the disappearing props, and uh, we have also used this building over here before. Uh, so it's a nice little... Kind of chunky industrial unit and it's going to sit really nicely as kind of a larger block facility within our cargo airport so that's been added into the build as well and then we come alongside all of our cargo airports here oh yes there's a cargo airplane stands even where our planes are coming and going from before we arrive at some more detailing uh, where we have some of our decals down for our planes and then lots more cargo vibes out here different trucks pallet loaders and various assortments of materials that are ready to be loaded into and onto various different cargo planes to go across the world, a bit of timber, uh, another shipping container field out here as well, alongside another tent with more props and more pallet loaders lined up on the airport ready to go. And then around the uh, post sorting facility, we have added in some of the post sorting uh, containers and then some DHL trucks, again, which we've used in the visitor side um, of the cargo harbour or the airport before uh, these guys are just over here on, a, on the field so that's nice and happy and then heading across the airfield into uh, this little area over here we've created uh, just a little bit of perhaps cargo plane repair and administration if you like uh, within the middle of the strip itself so we just combined two refueling depots with a hangar and then also dropped in one of our Boneyard um, cargo aeroplane props uh, to help function as, you know, it's undergoing a little bit of maintenance and is here to be worked on and repaired. And then also dropped in the modular house factory along the back of the hangar as though there is perhaps some sort of, you know, supplies or things being stored here that help repair the aircraft and whatnot uh, before they're obviously brought back into uh, commission and work and start flying around the world all over again. And then over here, we've also dropped in uh, the helicopter depot uh, as well, just for some more aviation vibes. Um, having another little air control tower uh, within the field here really makes a world of difference. As you can see, we've got that other uh, air control tower over there as well from the cargo airport sub-building. And overall, it's just turned into a really kind of cool industrial facility that's got this like massive bulkhead against it. It's really cool. Just super, super happy with it. We've also got some new highway art as well. Uh, all done with Surface Painter. Just painted out some uh, cute little shapes and whatnot. And did some over here as well with little holes in them, kind of like Swiss cheese. And then these carry on as well. Just various different shapes and the random designs that we see, of course, across uh, various parts of Phoenix when we stumble across these little highway art installations. Uh, they're very cool. There we go. We can see a train. Uh, crossing in and out of uh, the airport now as well with all these uh, car parks starting to get a little bit of use now. And the whole area is just really cute and functional. And it's filled an enormous, very heavily detailed space uh, and rounded off kind of the complete sort of empty uh, half of Sky Harbour that was so left here. So uh, really fun, really cool build and pretty mega as well and pretty much functions as the crowning jewel of Ilos's kind of cargo import and export function for the city. And finally, like we did mention at the start of the episode, we now have the, t the cargo planes taxiing behind the Ilos Sky Harbour sign. 
which is just great. <laughs> That's uh, really what I envisioned for the build. It looks a lot cooler when it's one of these large boys coming through, but you know, you've just got to wait for them. But yeah, really cool. Super, super happy with it. But otherwise, guys, that is going to do it for today. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, likes, comments, and shares really do help me out. These larger builds do take a long time to put together. So I appreciate all the support that you drop around them. Equal as much if you've hated every second of it, then please feel free to leave me a dislike as well. These cargo airports, it's the first time we've really tried one with mods and props available to us that we have in Ilos' setup, of course. And they're really cool. There's a lot of different vibes you can bring in. Um, Google Earth is a huge inspiration for things like this, as though this is kind of my own design. I was referencing how things were kind of sat and positioned in Sky Harbor. You know, as you drive into Sky Harbor in Phoenix, you do go right past um, all the cargo infrastructure, which is what we've managed to replicate uh, here in uh, the Phoenix uh, cargo uh, area, of course. But that's enough talking for me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the build. Please do hang around for your cinematics. Of course, this thing really fills out uh, a good chunk of that special nighttime view. So do enjoy it. But otherwise, I will shut up and I will leave it there. I just thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>